warm welcome once again to Verona. We're at the uh, Pianini Centre for the Under-26 Nations Summer Series. We witnessed uh, a battering ram performance from South Africa early on today in this very stadium as they dispatched England. And now it's the turn of the other two in a very, very competitive pool A. It's France against Ireland. Well, these two have uh, developed a rivalry at this age grade level. Ireland were the victors very, very late on the last time the sides met in the Six Nations earlier on this year. France will be out for revenge against Ireland in Italy. The Blue A were only denied a Six Nations victory against the Irish and with that the Grand Slam and that was a result uh, of a, a last-minute conversion from Charlie Tector after Ben Brownlee's late try. Will France gain their revenge this evening in the warm Italian sunshine? Or will it be Ireland once again? South Africa have set the benchmark in Pool A. The baby Rugby box looked like the racism. team to beat. France and Ireland will have other ideas. Continue to condemn the invasion of Ukraine and stand in solidarity with its people. Six Nation Rugby, the same union participants at Torneo, insieme la Federazione di Georgia e Sudafrica, ribadiscono la propria condanna nei confronti dell'invasione dell'Ucraina e si uniscono in solidarietà con il suo popolo. Ed ora alziamoci in piedi per vincere le due squadre. Please now stand up for the national anthems of the two teams. Two sides in this year's Under-26 Nations face off in Verona. It's France against Ireland. And it is set to be an absolute cracker. Jean-Marc Bedered has quality at his disposal. Watch out for the captain. The uh, outside centre, Gaëtan, is uh, all set to make a name for himself. As is uh, the uh, left winger, Biel Biari, who... Uh, became the youngest ever player 
to score a hat-trick in the Champions Cup earlier this season when he netted three against uh, the Scarlets back in January. As for uh, Ireland, there's been uh, plenty of talk this week. Hooker uh, James McCormick claimed the Irish pack had the beating of any other after they beat the French in the Six Nations. He starts again in the number two jersey, flanked by Michel and McSweeney. There's a lot of quality on disposal, although neither Tector nor Brownlee, Francis Nemesis, are in the squad for Ireland this week. It's a rapid fire kickoff for Adrian Jacobs. Gets the match underway. Quality on display all around. Two sides who know their way around under 20s age grade rugby. And this is turning into a bit of a grudge match, France against Ireland at this level. Touch finder takes uh, Ireland upfield. Played uh, in the clutches of the captain, Emilien Gaëtan, who is uh, certainly one to watch. It's an outside centre in the 13 jersey for France. As ever with the French, their pack is uh, bullish and boisterous and has uh, plenty of bulk. It's an early uh, workout for the French hooker. They're pretty evenly split, these two, in the last four meetings in major competitions, two games apiece. And each of those matches decided by margins of six points or fewer. So expect this one to be very, very close indeed. But it uh, was Ireland who won by a solitary point back in February, 17 points to 16 after that very, very late score. with the early possession. They're inside the Irish half. A little bit lateral at the moment though, but uh, there comes the hooker, Connor Saar. That's looking to work it wide. Beautiful play from uh, Ethan Randall, who uh, found himself in field, but uh, Ireland have turned this over. A big tackle from the uh, French lock. That's uh, Samuel Amfudi. And, uh, boot to ball for Ireland and uh, trying to pin France back. It uh, might dribble into their own, into the French in goal area, but uh, picked up by the uh, fullback. This is uh, Max Oria. Max Oria. Uh, Another one of those uh, in a production line, a conveyor belt of uh, exemplary French kickers. The fullbacks and the scrum halves and the fly halves in France uh, can all kick. That tends to be the tradition. And uh, French rugby across the men's and women's game at a, a fine, fine level across all age grades. Very, very hard one to call this. First uh, Irish line out. And, uh, so France with the breakdown penalty. as well and uh, takes France uh, just short of the Irish 22. 
Four minutes gone in Verona. We have already had a try in the uh, previous match at this stage. South Africa scoring very, very early against uh, England. Very tight first half for England, South Africa, but uh, the baby box pulling away in the second period. And uh, they have uh, laid down a benchmark for these two to try and follow. And uh, okay, France do, do taking do. line out ball. Get up, get up. And that's going nowhere. And uh, France have to uh, change tact. Try and get their big ball carriers onto the ball. Elliot Yemzi on the ball for France, picked up by the captain. This is Gaëtan, who has a tremendously quick feet and a plenty of agility. Locked over the top of the uh, covering Irish defence, and Iron a scrambling. Gaëtan's picked it up. Here's the captain of France, taking Irish defenders with him as well. France ship this wide. They've got numbers. This is uh, Randall. Tim Green offside. France have a penalty for an Irish offside. And this is Yemzi again, who's seen a lot of the ball, but is met with fierce Irish defence. This is Barre, the fly half, the lovely show and go, and an inside ball. That has been lost forward, though. France uh, did have the initial advantage. So they're going to come back for that against uh, an Irish offside. Number 10, offside. There is uh, some Irish support inside the uh, Paianini Centre. A fabulous tournament for all of these players to be a part of. And a lot of these players have um, made their debuts for their clubs. This uh, conveyor belt for both uh, nations, rather, in terms of uh, the huge rosters of players they can pick from. So taken by the blindside flanker and France uh, with a training ground move have worked this well but uh, Ireland managed to stop them short another advantage coming though and uh, then an outright penalty not rolling away Ireland and they're under the cosh here France looking dangerous second in the Six Nations that's uh, often seen as a failure for the French under 20s. That has been lost forward and good tenacious Irish defending. And that will be seen as a win. Reminder to come tomorrow. Pool B matches. Scotland against Wales. Starting at uh, 4 o'clock Central European time. And uh, Italy against Georgia. That's the night game. Italy massively improving. At a pretty rapid rate at uh, this level of rugby. It's a 6-0 victory over England in the Six Nations. Just a little illustration of what the Italians can do at this uh, level. And uh, Georgia have got a pretty meaty pack about them as well. Just run a mic, both of the back foot. Okay, too much movement. Let's go again. That's you. That's you. There you go. Let's work hard on your back foot. Oh, that is a pretty fearsome set play from the French. And uh, Ireland's penalty count is already mounting. And these uh, French forwards look like they mean business. And uh, they have the penalty. Ireland wheeling the scrum. And uh, that was only going one direction. 
And uh, France uh, are going to have a, a kick here just to get some points on the board. And uh, it's been all French territory and French dominance. No, and, uh, some points needed though to try and uh, illustrate their supremacy. Michel, the uh, Irish uh, loose head who was penalised after that scrum infringement. How's it looking? Looks to be good. And the flags go up. And the first points of the match, near the 10 minute mark. France, three points to the good against Ireland. And uh, that's uh, no more than they deserve after a very, very promising start. Good start from France and uh, three points very much merited. France three, Ireland nil. Lovely strike of the ball as well from Boriak. France uh, regather. It's uh, Ireland. Managed to turn this and uh, first bit of territory they've had really. They're told to release and now then that's a penalty advantage. That was pretty clear. Oh, he didn't actually give the penalty. But it was a France knock-on. It is the French fullback uh, Max Oriac who's been uh, tasked with kicking duties. It's often the way in France. Either the scrum half or the fullback. Top 14 final tonight as well. Cast against Montpellier. Two uh, surprise finalists. It has to be said at the start of the season, not many would have certainly picked Cast to make the final, but uh, they have won it before. To a decent outside bet to uh, claim the Bouclier de Brenu. Yeah, Not to be this season for the likes of uh, the star studded squads of uh, Racing and Toulouse and La Rochelle. La Rochelle, though, certainly having their moment in Europe. With that uh, wonderful Champions Cup victory over Leinster. French rugby. At club level, in a very, very strong position. France looking pretty strong in this game as well, but uh, having to try and withstand a little bit of Irish pressure here. That's a lovely burst through the middle, and it was a speculative offload, and France gives them the opportunity. They've made a bit of a mess of it, though, and Gaëtan could come away with it, and look at the speed of the captain and the outside centre. He is fleet-footed. And he finds a very, very decent kick as well. That was fabulous stuff. And uh, this boy is certainly one to watch. Emilien Gaëtan. And he is going to be an absolute superstar. France looking threatening again. Here they come. So Ireland have turned this. It was not forward anyway. Always playing backwards, no advantage. It's been a pretty impressive start as well by the uh, French tight head, uh, Elliot Yemsey, who's been everywhere so far. He's uh, not only been prominent uh, at scrum time, but he's been very, very effective in the loose as well. He's carried well. Yeah, look out for the number three for France, Elliot Yemsey. He's uh, had a rip roaring start to this contest. 13 and a half minutes gone. Look at the possession. And, uh, 
scoreboard at the moment not perhaps reflecting the overall dominance of France. They ought to really be a score at least in front. Coach. But uh, Ireland here Five. have an opportunity to clear their lines. Set. There it is again, the power once again from that French set piece and uh, Ireland are going to have to sort this out otherwise it's going to be a very very long night. Look at the power, the drive through the legs as well, supported by the, uh, the back row. Here's your line. And uh, this is could be kicking practice for uh, Max Oria. Here's your Should be straightforward for a player of his uh, kicking quality. Mind you, not a good connection that time. He's uh, dragged that across the face of goal. And uh, that was a pretty poor miss, in fairness, from uh, Max Oriak. He'll be disappointed. But uh, there's the man of the moment, Emilian Gaetan, the star man of the team. And uh, the number 11 as well, Louis Biel Biare. A stardust in this French back line, top of the meaty forward pack, and that pack is rumbling at the moment. Through the middle they go, taking Irish defenders with them. Baptiste Genot is the uh, scrum half. Here they come again, lovely inside ball, and this is going to be the first try. And it's an absolute crackerjack from France. Brilliant French flair. And France looked the real deal. Fabulous stuff. Yeah. Leo Labat is the man who's okay. gone over. Quick thinking from uh, Genot, and uh, it's a lovely break as well from Barre. And Say again. just on the inside was the big second row. Uh, Ireland. This looks like a tough day at the office. Leo Labat has uh, just scorched through. Look at the pace for the big second row as well. And uh, Ireland carved open. And this should be much more simple for Max Oria. And over it goes. And France on to double digits. And uh, 17 minutes in, this has been a rude awakening for Ireland. The uh, Grand Slam champions in the Six Nations in February. March time. And this is France 10, Ireland 0. And Ireland have got their work cut out, that's for sure. But, uh, here's another look at the try. Lovely little offload inside, and that is scorching pace for a big man. Brilliant try. Yeah, just having uh, a water break. It is uh, hot in Verona today. Ireland perhaps uh, need the break more than France do. I can assure you it is 10-0. The uh, clock hasn't changed. But 
but uh, that conversion did go over and uh, just to give you a, an indication of how warm it is in Verona it's 27 degrees and it's uh, gone eight o'clock at night uh, it was in the 30s earlier today and uh, tomorrow is meant to be even hotter 34 Celsius uh, very very hot this part of northern Italy at this time of the year and these are tough conditions to play in for our uh, northern hemisphere sides but, uh, at the same time chance to see some running rugby so five, five points from the boot of uh, Max Oriak and the try from Leo Labart is uh, the difference at the moment between the sides Island just need to try and get some possession at the moment, need some territory. And at the moment, they're being out muscled, out played, out everything. But uh, down the left hand touchline they go, but it's been spilt forward, and France can regather. That's uh, Coughlin with the uh, tackle, the diminutive Irish scrum half, but uh, France looking to fling this wide. Oh, it's a lovely little pass, and out they go again. Gaëtan, he's got men inside. This is looking dangerous. France are in again. Beautiful pass, and it's Gaëtan who scorches over for try number two. That was breathtaking. Emilien Gaëtan, the superstar of the team, and the captain, stretching France's lead. What a sublime try that was. Yeah, this has been mightily impressive. Look at the little Thank pass you. there. It was wasn't forward, it was just about flat. And then uh, inside centre to outside centre and then gets it back and Ireland cut into ribbons at the moment. But a uh, lovely little in interchange between the centres. Nicolas Desporteurs the inside centre and uh, Emilian Gaeton who has been absolutely outstanding so far. He's uh, Deporteur with the pass back to his captain. It's a good strike of the ball and uh, France had more points. And uh, Max Oriak has uh, settled nicely with the boots. France up to 17 points already. And we barely had a quarter of the match. But, uh, that's the shining light so far. And that is Emilien Gaëtan getting a deserved try. One-way traffic at the moment. France 17, Ireland nil. Ireland with plenty of work to do. Hefty boots trying to pin Ireland back. Ireland. Uh, Responding with a bit, bit of kick tennis themselves. But uh, that was poorly judged. Nothing is going Ireland's way at the moment. Tony Butler with uh, a very poor kick straight out on the full. France with all the possession. All the threat at the moment. Already made close to a uh, 200 meters, and uh, that's not taken by uh, Deporter. And now then, that looked pretty dangerous, and that's a penalty. It's an awkward landing. Let's have another look at this. Deporter with the drop there, and well. Corner. 
Right. Have a look. Check this. Bird for me on the screen, please. Yeah, and he could be in trouble here. It's uh, the big French second row. It's Samuel Mfudi, who uh, may well be in hot water. I'm at the screen. No real need to tip the yep. Irish inside centre, uh, Daniel Hawkshaw here. players in support as well in foodie and there was no need to do that do you want to see normal speed yeah this could be danger he's been, clearly been dropped this on his head speed. I think the uh, officials have got a decision to make here because uh, I've seen players go for this the first one is the best angle we'll look yeah. at that I don't think it's necessarily malicious. I think it's just careless. But uh, is there a mitigating factor here to uh, allow Mfudi to escape? It's not a malicious action for me. It's not going to be red. I don't think it's malicious enough to be red. Can you describe, please? Sounds like it's going to be yellow, though. Yeah. Um, so I can tell you what we've seen from uh, from our side. I think um, that green actually contributes it to it. It's not a malicious, dangerous action, but I do see that the play goes to the horizontal. So therefore, it's a yellow card for me. I agree with you. So the mitigation okay, so was it through. wasn't malicious, but it is going to be yellow for Mfudi. So it's number four. It's a yellow card for me because um, your player contributes for falling over. So it's going to be a yellow card against him. Um, yeah, Foodie's going to take 10. And uh, France's momentum may well be checked somewhat here. It was uh, a little bit silly. It is definitely Samuel and Foodie who has been given the yellow. It isn't. Uh, Tixeron. It's a mistake on the caption. So Foodie does uh, take 10 minutes. France down to 14. France, though, still with a 17 point cushion after a dominant opening quarter. Own player going down there. Move back. Ireland looking to try and uh, exploit, they have possession, exploit the 14 men. This is uh, much, much better. That was a good arcing run by uh, Dylan O'Grady. Ireland have the penalty as well. Side entry. Yeah, Ethan Coughlin wanted to go quick, wasn't uh, allowed. I know you want to go quick, just make sure it's on the mark, and then I can deal with the second of pitch. Okay, good. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, let's go. On the five. Very well, consider himself fortunate. There's the correction. Samuel and Foody. Ticks are on as the number eight. Incidentally, but, uh, Foodie is a, a little bit fortunate. I've seen players be sent off for that, certainly in uh, the Gallagher Premiership. There's the big loose head, Toma Mukoro, in your picture. Ireland have taken clean line out ball and what can they do here? Can they build a platform? A bit better this from Ireland, getting the driving ball going, but France moving them laterally at present. Can Ireland reset it? Yeah, he wants uh, Coughlin to use it. It wasn't going anywhere. France defended that superbly. This is quick ball though. 
back inside, perhaps not the right choice into heavy traffic. And France had the turnover. It was the wrong choice from Ireland. They did have players wide. But uh, poor, yep. poor distribution, really. They went back inside into heavy traffic. And France had numbers to snaffle the turnover. And it's all playing into French hands at the moment. France 17, Ireland 0, second game of the Under-26 Nations Summer Series, the inaugural events here in Verona, in the heat of Northern Italy. South Africa already winners today over England. Comfortable victory, five tries to three. France looking to uh, do a job on Ireland and get revenge for losing out on the Grand Slam earlier this year. France, one of the favourites for the title here summer series a couple of the French youngsters have gone on to uh, tour with the uh, national team this summer there we go, ball in hand and his deporter and this is lovely from France here they come again and here's Gaeton and France are in again it's another sizzling beauty from the French. And they are ripping Ireland to shreds. And it's that man again, Emilien Gaeton, who can do no wrong. Stunning. My goodness me, what a performance from these young Frenchmen. Everybody, every single member of that back line, instrumental. Yes. There's the right winger, Ethan Randley, with the uh, inside ball. You've got the evidence for that. The vision to pick out okay. Gaiton. Gaiton, the supporting cast, with the perfect line. It was uh, Deporter okay, so who uh, began it all with that arcing run. Out to Randley. Inside to Gaiton. Yes, the pass okay. on the 10 meters line. Yep. Tell me when you are on the screen. Oh, now then. Checking the second Perhaps not yet. Okay. It's the second last pass. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. Just want to see the action out of there. Yes. This is De Porter's pass. This pass. Oh, is this one here. Ooh, it is okay. forward. It does look forward. Yeah. In fact, this is the closest. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's clearly so forward. So that's forward out of hand for me. Yeah, it's yes. a pretty so simple decision. Yes. Well, that's going to be ruled out. On the this line. That is a huge relief for Ireland. That is a massive relief because they were torn apart there. Irish scrum hasn't been a joyous occasion for them so far because of uh, French forward dominance. More solid from Ireland. That's going nowhere, but uh, look at the speed. Coughlin's been caught. Always behind the ball. Behind the ball. That was rapid from uh, Baptiste Junot. As uh, Foodie counts down the minutes until his return. Behind the ball with both feet. 
Shipped out wide again. Huge hit in the midfield from Ireland. Just what they need. Who they're still in this? Genoa. Sir, to his number six, the blindside flanker Schiava. Deporter has been uh, increasingly prominent as this half has worn on. Genoa again. Uh, Mukoro, the uh, loose head. Juno again, looking to dart himself. And Ireland have the penalty this time on the floor. And uh, that was uh, Randley, I believe, who came off his wing and uh, was isolated. Promising position. Nine always down the wall on that one. Yeah. Okay. That's time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm just there. Fierce battle at the breakdown. Ireland have uh, competed manfully there. Another water break. Still very, very hot. It's been a fabulous game of rugby so far. And uh, possession uh, very much with France. Ireland uh, second best are out, really. They've been dominated. They are missing a couple of the key performers, though, that uh, saw them take the Grand Slam in the uh, Six Nations a couple of months back. But, uh, France uh, looked like the mean business today. And, uh, Emilien Gaëtan has been the star of the show. He and his uh, centre partner, Deporteur, have uh, caused havoc. Thank you, Shreve. Just wait. Just want to wait for the, everybody to get on. All good? No, no. Guys, move back. They will come in. They will come in. Okay. Turn back on. Island needs something before half time. Ten minutes to go. On the 22. And they have the penalty. Coughlin again wants to take things quickly. But, uh, once again, the South African referee just slowing him down. And do Ireland go for points or do they kick to touch? I have a feeling the three points would be a little bit futile. So uh, to touch we go. Positive play this from Ireland. France have made over 400 metres already Make sure you in this game. Ireland down at the 150s at the moment. Get to the mark. Ireland have had to make uh, a lot of tackles as well. They've made around 25 more than the French have managed. Tackles as well. They've made around 25 more than the French have managed. Shows uh, France's dominance so far. But uh, here come Ireland. Fishing for something against the 14 men still. Just a couple of seconds remaining for Mfudi before he comes back on. Ireland, though, need a score quickly. And five metres out. Coughlin. And 
strong French tackling. Repelling every Ireland attack at the moment, but Ireland getting closer. Do have the advantage. Just short. It's another advantage. So they do have the penalty in the back pocket if they so wish, but under the post they go. Ireland back in the game. On the board for the first time in the match. And it's just what they needed. After the early French siege. It's King with the score. Axel King. And Ireland with something to cheer about in Verona. It was a long time coming. But a lovely pass from Coughlin. Skipping a couple of French defenders. That's not able to get off the line quick enough. And uh, in the end, it was a simple stroll in for King. My goodness me, did they need that. And the conversion is a very straightforward one. And seven minutes before half time. Ireland reduced the gap to 10. France 17, Ireland 7. And uh, back comes Mfudi, and that score coming right at the end of uh, Mfudi's 10 minutes in the bin. Vitally important try for Ireland. So, is the sub 15 of France or 14 of France? 14. 14. Right, it's all King going over. Yeah, nicely finished. It's been stopped. Just going to wait for you. You're going that side? France are back to a full complement. Okay. Yeah. Uh, some concern. Uh, Gatian Mass is uh, coming on for uh, France. He's uh, 26 on his back. Ethan Randler, the um, right winger, is uh, the player who was hobbled off, unfortunately. He had a very good um, opening 30 minutes, created uh, the try that was chalked off. So France conceding the penalty at the breakdown. Ireland uh, all of a sudden just getting a little bit of joy in various places. There's the try scorer, King. Group of 30 was uh, what uh, Jean Marc Bedred has ended up with for uh, the summer series. He initially picked 37, but uh, the likes of uh, Nolan Le Garek have been called up for the senior science tour of Japan. So, uh, a lot of the French youngsters going on to the national side, or the senior side rather. Ireland probing, looking for another score. Tony Butler, to fly half, and uh, they have the penalty. Nine. Thank you, pardon. Nine. Only a knock-on. It was already, um, was already in the tackle, it was converted. I thought I saw um, a bit of crossing there. Yeah. Make sure you don't leave the leg down from the bind, please. The referee ignored it. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. That's you. A bit, bit of a relief for France. They've come under the cosh the last 10 minutes or so. 
It's been a creditable response from an Irish perspective. They were massively under siege in the first quarter, but uh, the second quarter has belonged to the men in green. That's for sure. Coach. Set! Nine! As you know, picks the ball up at the base. As to his fly half mate, Leo Barrett. France's line speed, excellent again. As they swarm forward. It's a lovely offload though. Coughlin digging for the ball, but uh, he's now involved in the ruck. And France have turned this, and Genot boots forwards, and they've got pace to burn on the outside. But uh, lovely little boots from uh, Baptiste Genot. As uh, France in a very, very strong position. Irish ball, though. have won eight of the last nine games coming into this tournament and uh, they might be in again here line out steal and uh, Ireland steal it back illegally France have also uh, well, they're looking to go quickly here so score a bucket load of points they've scored more than 25 points in seven of the last eight test matches at under 20 level. And it's not the best pickup. And Ireland have uh, done well here, but again illegally. That's backward. In fact, it, it's definitely a meeting of form sides. No. Ireland uh, on a run of five straight victories. And they've averaged. Uh, 42 points per game during that five-game winning run. So uh, both of these sides, heavy scorers. There's uh, Mfudi, who spent 10 minutes in the bin earlier. But, uh, another, another spectacle. In the uh, under-26 nation summer series. France against Ireland. France 17, Ireland 7. With uh, around about uh, 90 seconds to go until half time. Uh, a very, very warm Verona evening. And uh, sides, well, there is a little bit of niggle between these two. They play each other regularly. Adrian Jacobs has uh, got to calm things down here. Get off the mark. Thailand, you That's actually you. have the bigger pack. That's you. And uh, the famous words of James McCormick, the hooker, saying they can beat any pack in the world. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. It's a, a pretty big um, core of the Grand Slam winning side that uh, have travelled to Italy, in fact, for uh, Ireland. So, um, I admit, I was uh, surprised at the lethargy they started this game with, really. 17-0 down in no time at all. But, uh, the last 20 minutes or so have been... Uh, a better Coach. illustration of what Ireland can produce. They've uh, dominated the second quarter, but need to clear their lines here. Coughlin trying to marshal Genot. Genot playing football at the base of the scrum, and uh, France have the advantage as the hooter goes. Ireland will be absolutely desperate to hold out here. They have to. Captain, 
and it will okay. be half time very short. They can deal with it. They can deal with it. Okay, so meeting between two between two very it's bruising a packs. Penalty for you for nine offside. Okay. This guy is only holding the ball. He doesn't know what's going on because he's getting his head out of the scrap. I've got six in a running in, hitting the guy off the ball. So I'm going to reverse the penalty now against six. We're going to stop it now and we're going to deal with it exactly the same. Instigator, okay, penalty against you for six running in. Well, how frustrating so for France. Nine, side, and then six no, Della Schiava. The uh, French blindside flanker has uh, reversed the penalty and it will be an island penalty. And uh, Schiava will incur the wrath of his coach. France were in a promising position there, but Ireland have escaped. And uh, they are just 10 points down at half time. And it's uh, the men in green, ironically, despite uh, being behind with the spring in their step, heading into half time at the Pianini Centre. It's been uh, a colossally brutal encounter between these two as expected two huge packs two gifted sides it is the french who uh, are playing the razzle dazzle rugby though at the moment and it is france who have a 17-7 half-time lead in verona
More of the same from France, or will Ireland mount a response? A breathtaking first half of rugby in Verona for the second game in the inaugural under 26 Nations Summer Series. South Africa 30-22 victors over England in uh, the first match in Pool A earlier today in this stadium. France on their way to joining the South Africans as winners on day one. Richie Murphy, the Ireland head coach, needs to try and engineer a turnaround. It is uh, an Ireland team with uh, a sprinkling of uh, Grand Slam winners playing today. Murphy also called up a number of players who uh, impressed for the under-19s against France earlier this season. So perhaps uh, more of a developmental squad than France have taken to Italy. But still, there's a lot of top quality Irish players who featured in the Grand Slam winning team earlier this season. The likes of King and Gibbons and McCormick and uh, the captain Ruben Crothers who uh, I haven't seen a lot of in that first half, I must admit, the open side flanker. They're all in the starting 15 today. It's been a pretty dominant performance from the French so far. Les Bleuets have been outstanding. Corona is... Uh, this side's base for the pool stages. The other pool B matches are in Treviso, which is a couple of hours away. And uh, that man in the picture just a moment ago was uh, instrumental for France in that first half. Their star man, the captain, Emilien Gaëtan, a try scorer. Who plays his club rugby, in fact, for Arjon, who have just been relegated from the top 14. As Ireland gets uh, the second half underway. Second 40 minutes of the under 20s rugby. Mind of the, it is cast against Montpellier tonight in the top 14. And uh, neither of those sides well represented in this tournament. Uh, there's only one cast player in the uh, French squad and no Montpellier players at all in the uh, trimmed down squad. The only cast player, Louis Lebrun. That's a really good break through the French defence and here's Coughlin, who's upended by Gaëtan. Ireland looking for a bright start to this second half. And uh, they're up to the French 22 metre line. And that's shipped out to the big second row. It's uh, McNamee with the ball carrying. And there's Coughlin and there's the hooker McCormick, who uh, didn't find the best pass out wide, but it's picked up by the blindside flanker, McNabney. Coughlin again. And that's uh, McLaughlin. Lachlan over the ball again. And France. I saw that. Do have I saw that. the decision. Yeah, yeah Gaitop pointing out the infringement to uh, the referee. So did uh, the uh, fly half who plays for Stade Francais, Leo Barre. That's a lovely break from Ireland. About the best we've seen from them, really, in terms of uh, free-flowing rugby. We need to get this pitch on. Yep. French under-20s actually trained with the Barbarians uh, in preparation for this tournament.
Yeah, she's there. Uh, French players heavily represented with the Barbarians. So it was a really good workout for the French under 20s. Barbarians absolutely tearing England to shreds at Twickenham. And that this is the infringement we're looking at. Was it a neck roll on the number six? And uh, it was seen. It was at Schiava, the Frenchman, who uh, was twisted during that breakdown. And uh, yeah, this is not looking too good. And uh, France are going to have to ring the changes here. And this might be end of tournament. If it wasn't for the neck roll, incidentally, it was for a pretty innocuous collision. I think prior to this breakdown. Looks like a leg twist of some sorts. Yeah, it wasn't uh, for that uh, infringement. It was uh, way before. Come back on. Another look at the break. It's going to be a lengthy stoppage. It's a really good tackle on uh, Coughlin, incidentally. But, uh, France with pro play restarted now on the attack. Ooh, and that almost fell kindly. For Ireland, but here's Gaiton again, and Gaiton is through. And Gaiton has scored again. Yeah, you always can. This man yeah. can do no wrong. Still technically of Argent, about to join Poe yeah, in the top 14. You know it. And scoring tries for fun at under 20 level. TMO check. Uh, it is going to be checked. There's a knock on by Blue. They've seen a knock on. Knock on and, by uh, Blue. And well, Gaiton had, uh, did have a second try ruled out at the end of the first half, and he's going to have another one ruled out. He could have had a hat trick. Instead, he's still got one. But uh, what a fantastic player this young fella is, Emilian Gaiton. I think we're going to be seeing him in the senior side in the not too distant future. He is a proper specimen. A technically gifted athlete and he just seems to have that rugby intelligence which uh, not many players seem to have there was the knock on it was pretty clear but uh, Milian Gaiton what a star this kid is he has literally just joined Po in the top 14 so he's uh, about to leave Argent and he will be playing his rugby for Po who uh, did steer clear of relegation this season. So he will be a top 14 player next year uh, with Arjon relegated. Look at that French scrum again. It's uh, putting some severe pressure onto their uh, Irish counterparts and Ireland are struggling to get away with it here. The player incidentally who came off injured for France was uh, Leo Labat. He had an outstanding first half. And that's uh, really unfortunate for Labart. He plays his club rugby for Toulouse. Here come France again. What an offload that is. Seems to be ingrained in every single rugby player at uh, throughout French age grade levels. The ability to offload. There's another one. Here they come again. Approaching the Irish 22. That looks, a, well, I was about to say, it looked a decent turnover. But... Uh, he got over the ball, that's for sure, but uh, was he on his feet? Right in front of the posts as well. He had every right to go for the turnover. Never in a lifting position. 
But, uh, the French, uh, these French youngsters really relishing the chance to train with the barbarians. Should be straightforward. France uh, seemingly moving up to 20 points. Straight through the post, dissecting the uprights. And France moving 13 points clear of Ireland. France 20, Ireland 7. And uh, I think that is a fair reflection of the pattern of the game. Which way are you going? But, uh, Milian Gaetan has had uh, two tries ruled out, so uh, the damage could have been greater. But uh, Ireland just about hanging on to the coattails of France at the moment, but uh, they could do with a try pretty quickly. Ireland's only try coming. Uh, by the route of uh, Axel King. King uh, was a member of the Grand Slam winning squad earlier this year. Time off. Number one. Uh, Number one. It's uh, been an absolute delight to watch this young French team. They are a force to be reckoned with. Time back on. That's you. Perhaps That's looking you. on the face of it, uh, no real surprise that France are winning, given there is a, a bit more depth and experience about this uh, French roster than there is to the Irish one. Ireland um, retaining a, a portion of uh, the Grand Slam winning squad, but bringing in bringing in their under 18s and under 19s players as well. This is brilliant from Deporte, who was outstanding in the first half. And France is surely in again. He's got support, but he's going to go all the way. Another scintillating French try. And this France team are something else. Nicolas Deporte getting the try that his display merits. Fabulous score once again from Le Bleu. And it all came. Thank you. On the line. From inside their own half. It's a breathtaking piece of play from Deportaire. It's individual brilliance. He had support from uh, Schiava, but he wasn't needed the blindside flanker. Deportaire with the step and then the gas to go all the way. Send them on. Send them on. Took out two Irish defenders there, then beat uh, the Irish left winger. And Deporteur with an astounding try. Plays his uh, club rugby for Bordeaux Begle. Nicolas Deporteur. Now uh, Max Oriac of uh, Toulouse threading another two points through the uprights. And then France moving on to 27. And uh, a healthy looking lead of 20 points. One, two, and three. Stop. What a breathtaking performance from France. That's three tries. They're one away from the bonus point, a feat which uh, South Africa achieved earlier on today with their five tries against England. England 22, South Africa 30. England left pointless after that match. They fell just short of uh, the losing bonus point. Now, uh, Irish changes. Good to go. With uh, the tight head uh, Darren McSweeney going off. That's, he's already off. 
Number it's going two. To be Kieran Ryan is uh, going to be on. Tony two. Butler has left Number the field two. as well. The fly half, Sam Prendergast, is coming on for Ireland. It is Kieran Ryan who's replaced uh, Darren McSweeney. Ryan is the new uh, tight head. Can we go? Thank you. James McCormick is also off. No problem. You can go now. The uh, starting hooker, the Grand Slam winning hooker. So that uh, does mean that uh, Josh Hanlon, the replacement hooker, is on, wearing 16, and that's gone out of the, on the full. And that uh, is a pretty poor error from uh, Shay McCarthy, who uh, missed the tackle in that build-up to the uh, Deportaire try. What a performance from him as well. Not exactly being outshone by his... Uh, Central partner in crime. French changes as well. Thomas Mukoro has left the field and uh, Pierre Emmanuel Pacheco has come on for France. The uh, replacement loose head prop. Here come France again. That's a lovely little grubber through and uh, they might be booted forward. Good uh, cover defence this time from Ireland. I thought there was going to be nudged forwards from France. Yeah, France have not that on. Irish will have the scrum. Or Ireland will have the scrum. Excuse me. Fairly early days in the uh, top 14 final. Uh, 12 minutes gone at the Stade de France. It is cast nil, Montpellier 12. So, uh, well, as things stand, long way to go, of course. Montpellier will be claiming the Bouclier de Brenou, which is the giant shield of a trophy that's uh, given to the winners of the French top 14. The French top 14, incidentally, is getting stronger and stronger by the year. And, uh, there are multiple sides in that division who uh, are capable of mixing it with the best, as La Rochelle proved this season with a breathtaking performance to uh, oust the favourites Leinster in the final of the Champions Cup. And, uh, La Rochelle not uh, represented in this uh, squad. A lot of Toulouse, a lot of Bordeaux. There's uh, some Clermont. There's some Perpignan as well in this squad. And uh, Provence uh, represented also. There is uh, talent all over France. Coughlin is digging for the ball. It's not exactly quick though, and that's a lovely pass. And uh, Ireland are going to have a penalty advantage here. It was a late hit. Might have been a touch of offside as well. Yeah, there were a couple of French players offside there. It's also a very late hit. Although uh, no malice in it. Oh, Richie Murphy before uh, the start of this uh, tournament yeah. was uh, commenting on the formidable opposition in Pool A in the shape of uh, France, South Africa and England. It is a brutally tough pool. Keep working, keep working. That's one. A lot of players from the Six Nations campaign ruled out. But uh, he was on about uh, testing the squad depth, trying to blood in a, a load of under-18s and under-19s players. And uh, France uh, whooping and hollering and winning the penalty. And it's just not going Ireland's way at the moment. France up against England next. And uh, Ireland will face South Africa in their second pool outing. That's uh, on Wednesday. 
Ireland's uh, last game against England. France taking on South Africa in uh, their last pool A match. France, well, at the moment, if this scoreline stays the same, France and South Africa could be a shootout to decide top spot. England at the moment not uh, taking a single point away from their match against South Africa. Did miss a conversion near the end, England, actually, which would have given them a losing bonus point. England uh, scoring three tries, so just falling short of the fourth try bonus point. It's still a really, really warm and muggy 26 degrees in Verona. It's a, a beautiful Italian summer's evening. And a beautiful city as well. Verona's a fabulous place. Steeped in history. A lovely reverse pass from uh, the fly half Barre. And here come France again. And they're twisting and turning and into the 22. Here's Jeannot, who's been outstanding. Jeannot digging for the ball again and gets it. And there's Deporter. Another shrewd operator in that France midfield. Okay, just watch that. And the penalty as well. Another infringement from Ireland at the breakdown. One of multiple in this match. France not quite having the territory or territorial dominance they had in the first half, yeah. but uh, still very much in this second. They had over 600 metres in this match, France. Ireland, Ireland, though, were creeping up there, 400. And an Irish change is imminent. Six minutes gone. Still uh, over a quarter of the match remaining in Verona. France uh, looking to move on to the 30 point mark. Not in a hurry, it seems to try and get that try bonus point. Still no plenty of time. Straight forward for uh, Max Oriak, the uh, Toulouse fullback, who uh, threads another three for France. And uh, Le Bleuet move on to 30. France 30, Ireland 7. And uh, Ireland yet to register a single point in the second half. As, a, as ever with Irish sports, in any sport, they are well supported and uh, another water break as well in these temperatures it is much needed I will update you on the uh, island changes Castanel Montpellier 17 now in the top 14 final rip roaring start from uh, Montpellier Scrum half on for France. Jules Coulon. Time back on. Coulon uh, buys his tray for too long. Watch the ball. Watch the ball. Toulon beaten in the Challenge Cup the final line. this season by uh, Lyon in the French final. And here come France again and uh, looking for the bonus point and skirting around the Irish defence and landing the fourth try. Another piece of individual brilliance. And this time it's uh, Gatien Mass who has got in on the act. It's getting worse for Ireland. France matching South Africa's feet. The five points now seemingly tucked away in the back pocket. Pretty. Pretty. 
the ball out on the full. Yeah, that actually went out on the full, and that is a piece of genius and quick thinking from the uh, French Open side flanker, Maxime Baudon. Okay, so the, so the ball was out. Okay. I'll tell you what, Racing, uh, Maxime Baudon, rather, of Racing 92, taking that so, so quickly after Ireland went out on the full. The try does stand, nothing wrong with that. France were just uh, thinking on their feet. Baudon with that exemplary pass from the touchline into the uh, flying feet of uh, Gatian Mas. And uh, Oriak isn't going to curl that one round, so uh, France remain on 35. But uh, a very, very handsome lead now of 28 points. Ireland need four converted tries, and quite simply, that is not going to happen. There's the pass from Baudon. Who's talking to me? And there's Gatian Mas skipping around the Irish defence. Is Sub talking to me? No, it's Stefano. I'm talking to you, AJ. Yes, Stefano. The ball is not in line out. The ball has been played inside. Okay. The ball did not reach the 10 metres line. Come on, come on. Look at by the green went into touch. Okay, so explain to me again, uh, Stefano. So we're going up for that try now. Okay, explain to me what happened. Come to the screen. Going. Come on, I want to check that. Well, this is going to be checked, and well, bizarrely, the conversion's already been taken Stefano. and missed. Yes. Okay. Can I show you? Yes. Plays inside the field. Inside the field. Get that ball. By green. Then goes into line out. Uh, was, was not play. touching play. Yeah. So he was put the line. Is, okay, so it's the wrong play to call the ball that carried 10. Green played it, so the liner was taken in the wrong place. Yes, correct. So, yeah, okay. It's the, where, the li where the line out was taken. No try. And the try is going to be ruled out. Okay. So you can scratch away that try for uh, Gatian Mas. For you. Yeah. And uh, bizarrely, it's been ruled out after the conversion has already been taken. The line out, the piece of quick thinking from Maxime Baudon. Not working out this time. And uh, we're coming all the way back for that French line out. It was taken a good 10 metres further forward than that, I must admit. But uh, it took an awfully long time to come to that decision. So uh, France back to 30. Uh, poor old Gatian Mas has his big moment chalked off. No more, no more. No more. France also, that does mean the bonus point has uh, been wiped away for now. Thank you. Thank you. Get up. Blue, seven, come in green, come in in front, come in, come in. They've had three tries disallowed France in this match. They could have been almost near the 50 point mark. And here come Ireland, still with a bit of hope. That's a lovely pass as well, and here come Ireland. This is beautiful. Into the French 22. Arguably the best Irish attack of the entire match as we approach the hour mark in Verona. Ireland with one try to their name, hunting a second. Really good stuff, this, from the men in green. Richie Murphy will be delighted by the way that uh, Ireland have uh, got themselves upfield. 
France repelling them at the moment, though. The uh, replacements combining. That's uh, Michael Maloney, the new scrum half, wearing 21. Here he is again. Yeah, France were well offside. So uh, Ireland's going for the corner. And that's uh, Sam Prendergast, the new fly half. Let's work, let's work. Okay, let's pick it up. Who uh, takes Ireland into promising territory? Josh Handlon with the test. It's well taken as well. Taken by uh, Charlie Irvin. And uh, Handlon has gathered this at the uh, base of the driving mall. And Handlon is surging forward here. But uh, France have. Buffeted him backwards. Maloney looking and scanning. Ireland do have the advantage. Can the Irish forwards rumble themselves over? Yeah, France are offside again, not for the first time in the past couple of minutes. And uh, Prendergast uh, boots into touch again, and uh, Ireland will try again. Instructions from uh, George Haddon. It was a clean take from Irvin last time. Can he repeat the feat? Oh, it's towards Irvin, but it doesn't reach him. And that's a, a terrific line out steal from France. But uh, I think they've knocked this forward, and Ireland are going to have a scrum. The scrum hasn't gone particularly well for Ireland, though. There you go. Well, they travel everywhere they go. Cast nil, Montpellier 20. 26 minutes gone in the top 14 final. Just a reminder as well, we've got Scotland, Wales, Italy and Georgia in uh, action tomorrow in Pool B. In uh, the match is based in Treviso, which is uh, closer towards uh, Venice if you're a uh, Northern Italian geography isn't too clever. Maloney with the putting. It's picked up the base by uh, McLaughlin, but all oh, that was high, that was really high. High tackle. It was a proper club around the neck. Surely they're going to have a look at this. Let's get on the line, 10 metres. Quite a surprise that hasn't been looked at. That was extremely high, it was uh, pretty hefty as well. So Ireland at least have the penalty. 15 minutes remaining in Verona. The second match of the under 26 Nations Summer Series. France 30, Ireland 7. France currently one try short of bonus point territory. Ireland need a couple of tries just to get within losing bonus point territory. They're really pushing hard here though. Richie Murphy's men really going for this. 
applying a lot of pressure, but this is being shunted backwards, is it? And uh, the referee has lost patience. And that is going to be a penalty try. 21. 21. Yep. And a yellow card to boot as well. And uh, Adrian Jacobs has had enough. 21. Yellow cards uh, as well for France. And uh, it all works out pretty nicely for Ireland in the end. They uh, huffed and puffed, they got there in the end. And uh, no need for the conversion, of course. Penalty try awarded. France 30, Ireland 14. A uh, good result there for Ireland after a barrage of uh, heavy pressure. And uh, the yellow card going to uh, Jou Coulon, who uh, hasn't really been on the field that long, the Toulon man. A lot of good French performers though today. Max Oriac has been very steady with the boot. Leo Barre has uh, orchestrated things very well from fly half. Noah Schiava has had a, a very decent game. Nicolas Deporter and uh, Emilian Gaiton, the two centres, have added stardust to the occasion. Over the 15th. Poor old Leo Labarte though before he got injured. Uh, Foodie's going to be stopped in his tracks. And Foodie, remember, had a yellow card in the first half. Number four. Who's four? Number four. Change is uh, imminent. This is uh, Malui Suta, who is uh, going to replace and Foodie. He's worked really hard. Fortunate perhaps to not get a red card in the first half, but to escape with a yellow after that tip tackle. And a suitor. Is that the replacement? going to get 13 minutes. Crunch. Bye. Sit. Maloney with the put in. Ireland need to secure this ball. Maloney is going to put boot to ball. That's a pretty decent uh, touch finder from Maloney. Ball and that's stolen by Ireland. Ireland uh, gaining in uh, or growing in confidence, rather. Here they come again. Tries to take the direct route between two French defenders, doesn't quite work out. It's a oh, lovely offload, and here come Ireland, and they're purring at the moment. A lovely offload from uh, James McNabney, but uh, France have turned this over. Looking for the offload there. That's a lovely kick as well. It's uh, well fielded. Did well there, uh, George Kuma. Another one of the Irish replacements. France over the ball here, and there's the turnover. And now Gaiton who has been monumental for France. Gaiton is half English, by the way. Mum is English. Here come the French once again, looking for that try bonus point. Still trudging forward. Penalty goes the way of Le Bleuet. Good 
Well, France uh, kick to the corner. They want this try bonus point. They need it if they're going to uh, move above South Africa in the Pool A table. Yeah, they're going to touch. They're one try short at the moment. Only option, really. Matteo Garcia is uh, the French 23. The new kicker. Here comes that driving ball. That's taken by Montgaillard. And France are over, surely. And surely this one won't be chalked off. That's the bonus point in the bag. And France have got their awards for a very, very powerful display. It's a dream yeah. forwards try. And France move into the mid 30s. France 35, All good Ireland for 14. Again. All good for me, AJ. Yeah, this one definitely won't be chalked off. The TMO has confirmed that. It's uh, Victor Montgaillard who picked the ball up here and then surged forward. The replacement hooker with the try. My goodness me, the power in his legs here, thrusting towards the line. French driving more, mangling their Irish counterparts there. And uh, smiles on the face of Victor Montgaillard. Plays his uh, club rugby for Pepignon. Lovely clean strike from Oriach. Once again, and France move on to 37. And the bonus point is secure. Look at the power here from Montgaillard. Nothing at all. Third Island could do about that. Unstoppable. Despite the uh, despairing tackle of uh, Ronan O'Sullivan. Taken them until the 70th minute to uh, you see any slap try number four. Another water break. Common occurrence. It will be throughout this tournament with uh, searing temperatures. France 37, okay. Ireland 14, to the healthy 23 point lead. And they will be going top of Pool A tonight. Best Ireland can uh, hope for now really is uh, a try or a losing bonus point. So this has been a display for that will uh, ensure others sit up and take notice, that's for sure. Scotland against Wales is the first match tomorrow from Pool B. Four o'clock Central European time, followed by Italy against Georgia in the seven o'clock slot. Uh, first up in round two against England on uh, June 29th. That's Wednesday. That's a lovely pass, by the way. Ireland follow against South Africa in the evening. And here go Ireland looking for try number three. Bumping off defenders. They need to release this quickly. Keep working. Another try would do Ireland the world of good. The points difference as well in this group. They're going to be going bottom of the group. After tonight, if this scoreline stays near enough the same. But, uh, the pick and goes are getting them closer. Ireland getting closer to try number three here. 
That's a lovely pass and the good twist and the turn. And that's a beautiful try. Ireland not giving this up. And the conversion has been taken very, very quickly. Ireland move on to 21. And there's still time for Ireland. I think the try bonus point is more realistic than the losing bonus. Lovely physic pass and that's a really good finish. It's a fabulous try. outside centre it was it's uh, Fionn Gibbons who uh, was a member of that uh, Grand Slam winning side earlier this season and Gibbons has got his uh, name on the try scorers board and uh, Sam Prendergast successful with the conversion Ireland move on to 21 three converted tries Good God, kid. Go back. Knock on. I think the match is safe for France. 16 points clear. Ireland are still three converted tries away from winning. But Ireland now with a realistic chance of getting something out of this match. Whether that be a try bonus point or a losing bonus point, it's still on. There you can see the scrum dominance of France. They have not lost a single scrum in this match. And, uh, Tell you what, France against South Africa at scrum time is going to be interesting. South Africa absolutely mangling England in the previous game. And, uh, Ireland uh, waiting to bring on Rhys Malone. Really good match this. Ireland. Uh, Doing themselves proud, more inexperienced side than the French have put out, but uh, France simply have been too good. There's only four tries to three though. Ireland really going for this now, they sense the try bonus point is there. That's a really, really good surge and here they go. And it might be a genuine possibility here, brought down by uh, Biel Biare. All Ireland at the moment. France have switched off. They're inside the 22. Incidentally, I haven't seen much of the uh, the coveted French uh, winger Louis Bielbiare. He's been uh, fairly quiet in this match. And then France have the turnover at the breakdown. of France is uh, Simon Tarel, who has uh, not long come on. Five minutes to go, France 37, Ireland 21. France uh, about to join South Africa at the top of Pool A. Artem and Hall of five points, but they have missed touch. And here's a chance for uh, Ireland. And uh, their replacements have been pretty effective. There's another good run from George Coomer, who's been very good in the 23 jersey. Good passing from Ireland as well. It's sticking to hand at the moment. They really want that try bonus point. It's a really good tackle, important one by the uh, the French replacement, the lad who's just come on, Suter. gone backwards and then France uh, closing off the space Ooh, there might be a gap here and this is nice and Ireland if they could get it wide they couldn't quite get it wide it's slow ball as well still in Irish possession that's a lovely pass His defence getting a late workout here in Verona. Case of job done for France for sure, but uh, they don't want to concede another one. No, 
smile and desperate for this fourth try. I'll tell you what, Coombe has been everywhere since coming on. The Irish shirt number 23. Here's Maloney, who's been impressive as well. That's a lovely pop pass towards George Shaw, wearing 25. That's a good carry as well from Manga. Good content. It's a lovely little dummy, and Ireland's uh, on the charge here. And uh, that's spilt, but uh, the penalty is Ireland's. 17. Oh, the French uh, loose head. Okay, we'll get it, Ralph. Yeah, Pacheco was the man who uh, conceded that penalty. Yes. I've got it, I've got it. Make it right. Ireland kicked a touch. This will delight Richie Murphy if they can get something out of this game. It's a 12th sub. What a day of rugby in Verona. Under 26 Nations Summer Series. South Africa 30, England 22, France 37, Ireland 21. Plenty of points, plenty of tries, and uh, plenty of stardust on show. Showcasing the very, very best of uh, young rugby talent at under 20 level. I'm sure plenty of these players will go on to play for the senior side of their respective countries. But, uh, the star man for me anyway, Emilien Gaetan, has been absolutely outstanding. Instrumental in everything France have done. Born in Croydon in South London, Gaetan. But uh, he uh, considers himself French through and through. France looking to uh, hold off a late Irish charge here. Ireland giving it absolutely everything in their hunt for another try. That's gone loose though, and this will be French ball. And they can run from deep here, and that's exactly what they're planning on doing. A lovely pass back inside, and again, and here come France. Can they finish with a flourish? Beautiful play, and it might be a try for the substitute. Oh, he's brought down just short. Was he in touch again? Tottenham Island doing brilliantly to get themselves back. Still danger though. Fabulous run from uh, Simon Terrell. Didn't quite have the pace, but that is try number five. And France have matched South Africa's try tally. And is that Victor Mongaya once again? I think it is. Either way, France have five and France are going top of Pool A after the opening day of the Summer Series. And it all stemmed from when Ireland lost the ball in contact at the opposite end. Look at the hands here. France so comfortable, forwards, backs alike. Simon Terrell went very, very close here. It was a very, very good cover tackle from the Irish fullback Dylan O'Grady. They can spend but, all the uh, time. France recycled. Terrell in there again. And it was the hooker once again. It was Mongaya, the try scoring machine. Two tries for Mongaya. And a five star showing from France. What a display from the French. Ireland, in the end, left pointless. It was a spirited display from Richie Murphy's men, but in the end, the Grand Slam under 26 Nations champions were outclassed by the team they beat in the tournament earlier this season. France on a different level tonight. And they have five tries and the bonus point.
to take away with them ahead of their second match. France looked imperious at times. The centre combination was exemplary. The captain, Emilien Gaëtan, and uh, his inside centre partner, Nicolas Desporteurs, ran rings around Ireland at times. France, breathtaking display to match South Africa, who produced the goods earlier on today. The bonus point secure for France, who have got off to a flyer, and they are going to take some stopping. Full time in Verona, in Pool A, France 42, Ireland 21.